Describe some of the injuries you saw Jake and Ella sustain before the day in question. Well, they were always covered in mysterious bruises. Jake had a, a broken wrist after skateboarding with Max. Um, Ella said that Max pushed her head under the water in the pool, held her there. Did you confront Max? Yes. He said they were playing. What was your response? Well, I, I, I knew this wasn't normal. Everything about Max felt wrong. I mean, even when he was a baby... Objection, Your Honour. Mr Gardner, if you could restrict yourself to facts rather than emotions and opinions. Was there a specific act you witnessed which led you to this conclusion? Um, we bought the kids rabbits on Easter. I was watching Max playing with them outside. The phone rang. I went inside to answer it. When I hung up, Max came in and said the rabbits had escaped onto the road and died. Mr Gardner, I'd like to take you back to the day Jake died. What were you doing at approximately 12.30 p.m.? Playing tennis with my wife at home. The kids were inside. And what happened when you finished playing tennis? We went back to the house. It was really quiet. That doesn't happen with three kids. So, um, well, I called out, but they didn't answer. Verge went to have a shower. I felt there was something wrong. So I went to Ella's room. She wasn't there, so I went into the front yard. What did you see? A shape on the ground under a blanket. I thought, oh, Jake's playing hide and seek, so I went over to tickle him. And he, he wasn't pretending. His body was cold and his lips. I knew he was dead. <laughs> so I, um, I got up and I went to Max's room. He was just sitting there doing his homework. I didn't mean to hurt him. You're lying. <laughs> We were too scared to leave Max alone with Ethan, you know, the baby. One of us always had to be with him, just, just in case. Not that we weren't worried about Ella, but Ethan's so small and so helpless. Um, we were in the kitchen, me and Max and Ethan. Virginia, I don't know where she was, exactly somewhere close. Um, I heard this crash in the hall and, and then Ella called out. She'd fallen and, and hurt herself. Now, I raced out to see if she was okay and she was fine. Just a, just a bump and a fright. I guess the better. And um, I went back into the kitchen. Max was leaning over Ethan, right over him, over his face, and he was putting something in his mouth. I panicked. I, I raced over and I, I just shoved him out the road just, just to get him away from Ethan. And then I grabbed Ethan and I, I picked him up and I just, I just held him tight. I checked his mouth and there was a grape. And he, he started crying. And I was just, just shushing him, telling him everything was okay. And um, Virginia, I, I don't know where she came from. She was just, she was right there beside me. Besides me and Ethan. And I was so focused on Ethan, I didn't even think about Max. I 
sound and I couldn't work out what it was and it was Virginia. She, she was beside Max on the floor, cradling, cradling him and rocking him. He hit his head when he fell. <laughs> 